Good afternoon folks, it's Peter at Winchester Caravans here and today we're going to be taking a walk around this 2016 Luna Tubman. So at the front we obviously have our Alco stabiliser, our handbrake and our jockey wheel which is adjusted using the red handle just there and we have our ATC just here. Now when we plug the car into the electrics you'll hear a little whirring noise and then the green light will pop up on this unit just here. It doesn't matter if it's flashing green or solid green, everything is working just fine. If it's red, it means the ATC unit itself is working. And if you hear the whirring noise but can't see any light, then the bulb has gone. Then obviously you have your big large front gas locker there, holds two gas bottles in there. And we have, might have put some of your other bits and bobs in there for you, ready for collection tomorrow. Moving round to the off side then, we obviously have our boiler vent just here. Moving along, this is where we plug our water pump in. Just into the left hand side, just here. And then from there it drops into your Acarol. Here is your water filter. You get 28 days of use of that before it, you know you could change it. Or if you drink from bottled water, you don't have to worry necessarily. But if you do need to change it, just undo the screw thread that help pop a new one in and that is for your external shower point just there moving in we have our battery box just there our mains plug in is at the top there and that is where your motor mover engagement switch goes fridge vents we have external access locker door which leads under the bed as you can see just there and to open that we just push both buttons at the same time, wastewater outlets there, and then finally we come to our toilet cassette and toilet fill. So your pink chemical goes in the top, obviously diluted. Um, I think it's 30 ml for every five liters, something like that. And then here is where your blue chemical goes in there as well, and so your toilet cassette. To get your cassette out, you simply lift the orange handle, just like so, and then pull it out towards you. If for whatever reason you can't get it out, the first thing I would check is to make sure that the toilet is actually closed on the inside, as if it is open you won't be able to put it out. Coming around to the near side then, we have our gas barbecue point just here. We have our wet locker and our external 230 volt socket there, and a spider to boot as well. <laughs> and then coming down to the end there, we have another uh, locker door, external access, similar to the one on the other side. Taking a step inside then, above the door, you have your main control panel. And that's nice and easy to use and really simple. So on the top left is your power button, that's your 12 volt master switch. Uh, before we don't turn that on, you can't use anything else. Next one down on the left in the middle is your inside light button. As it says on the tin, turns your inside lights on. And all the other lights have their own individual switches as well as this. Picture of the tap is your water pump, so when you've got your Acarol plugged in and your yellow drain down switch flicked down, we push that on to start getting water into the caravan. I'll show you where that yellow switch is in a moment. Top right we have our awning light, just turns that on and off. And then the bottom two, or oh sorry, the middle one on the right and the bottom one on the right is to do with just changing your minutes, etc. So for example, if I push this now, we can cycle through the various things. Set hour. So when we get to set hour, it says one o'clock. If I wanted to change that, I'd then just push the arrow to change this to whatever time I wanted. Minutes, etc. And there we are. The panel down to the right of this is your Audi panel. This is for your heating and hot water. Now I won't go into detail today on this one. What I'll do is I'll send you an email to a YouTube video, which Audi themselves have done, which goes into great detail on how to use this. Moving to the front of the caravan now, in these two lockers above the door, uh, the sofas rather, we have storage. The one just above here is where your radio is kept, and you've got a little CD rack just there. And then around here we simply have more storage, and the plug for the microwave. Underneath the sofas, again, just lots of storage, you're spoilt for the storage here. Um, that is the little box for your alarm, and talking of that, your PIR sensor is just there. All your handbooks and such are just 
just going to be kept in the top there for you. Underneath the right hand sofa is where sort of your business end is really. You've got your boiler just there. You've got your reverse of your battery box just over there. Mover box just here. On top you've got your fuses. And then down there you've got more fuses, your trip switches and your system shutdown buttons and such there. I'd like to draw particular attention to the yellow switch just there. As I mentioned earlier in the video, this is what your drain down valve looks like. So at the moment it's currently in the drain position. So if we were to turn the water pump button on by the door, water would come straight into the caravan and go straight back out the floor again. So we need to flick that down like so when we're ready to fill up the caravan and use the taps and stuff. Likewise, when you don't want your holiday and you're ready to leave site, click that up, open up all your taps and let the system drain down. Moving into the kitchen area there, at the top we have our microwave. In the cupboards there we have our mug and plate holder. Yeah, just in that one just there. Down towards the hob we have our hob with electric hot plate at the top there, all of which everything is labelled up nicely there. Oven and grill, and you have your three-way fridge here. So, it, to use the fridge, to turn it on, we simply push the on button just there, push and hold it, the lights will all flash blue, and it will go on to it was last setting that it was used on. If we used to use it on mains, we push the mains button, and it will highlight blue. Gas is the middle one, and then if we use battery, so when we're towing with the car, we put it on battery. To adjust the temperature, we push this little thermostat here and it will give you the levels there. And the last one is the warning button. So if something's not quite white, it will beep at you. So I'll demonstrate all of this now. So there we are. So at the moment, we were last tested on gas with us. And everything's there. Now I don't know if you can hear the clicking. It's a self-igniting fridge. So you just don't have to worry about that. If you use it on gas, it will do it itself. Now if I push mains, obviously the plug's set there, steal the temperature, and there's the little beeping sound we were looking for because I haven't got mains plugged in, okay. To reset that you would just simply push and hold that just there to get rid of it. Obviously it's going to keep going off because I don't have mains plugged in at the moment. Turn it all off again, push and hold the power. In the wardrobe opposite the kitchen we have our TV aerial, our booster box and our header tank for the heating system. Now, to adjust the TV aerial, you simply undo the screw thread at the top and then you can lift it up and down, twist it left and right to try and get a signal. If you're not having any luck there, you can wind this little handle here, turn the aerial from horizontal to vertical and there's your little notice there just to make sure that everything is flush and down before you travel. Head of tank, so this is for your heating system. Now there's our antifreeze in there and you can see you've got a minimum and a maximum just there. Now over time as you use the caravan you might find this will drain slightly so it's just a good idea just to keep an, uh, an idea, uh, to keep an eye on it rather and top it up when needed. You can use Audi antifreeze which we sell in the shop or if you're in a bit of a pinch you can just use distilled water. If you need to top it up simply take the patterned ridged square bit off the top and you'll find the screw thread underneath. Moving to the back of the caravan then, underneath both beds as we saw from outside is storage which we can access. The light in the bedroom is uh, dimmable when your lights are turned on. You simply push and hold your thumb on the middle bit just here and you will brighten and dim the lights. Moving through to the back then we have the, obviously the toilet area. Blue button on top of the toilet is your flush and your cassette indicator just above that to the left. It will be red when it's full. We've got our heated towel rail here and this is also your bleeding point for the Audi system. Down here is the toilet cassette switch. Now at the moment it's in the closed position. To open it and drain any waste, you move it to the right. Just remember, as I mentioned earlier, to put it back into left to the closed position if you need to get the toilet cassette out. And then we just have our shower. The shower tap, like all the other taps in here, you would lift up to adjust the pressure from left and right for hot and cold. That's all from me today, folks. If you have any further questions after watching this video, please don't hesitate to ask us tomorrow when you come pick up. 
Alternatively, when you're away caravanning with just an email or a phone call away. Happy caravanning.